Well, it's 2022, which means it's been a minute since I originally made the SLKR Unlock Guide. And I got a lot of really good feedback from you guys, specifically with Tier 6, that some people were struggling with it and were hoping for an updated guide. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Gridden. You're officially on the grid. Let's unlock SLKR. <laughs> you guys SOKR he is still one of my favorite galactic legends in the game he was my first galactic legend I'm always gonna have a soft spot for SOKR Aww. you guys we're gonna blitz through uh tiers one through five um tiers one and two are just about the same tier three is rock paper scissors and you just have to memorize the sequence and then tiers four and five are crazy easy and I'm gonna spend the most amount of time on tier six you guys so let's go ahead and start with tier one um and the team composition that you guys are looking for is obviously going to be a kylo ren lead you have to use him and then we're going to go with hux uh red trooper and then the two pilots so let's start with the mods because the mods are the same for tier one and two and you even use some of the same ones for tiers four five and six so let's start with the mods here you guys now starting with crew you guys um give him a bunch of survivability that's pretty much what you need uh the reason that you want either health slash uh protection is whenever he takes damage he's going to recover um eight percent health uh and then every time that he gains a status effect from his leadership um he will recover five percent health and protection um so as long as he's gained status effects um and being damaged he's recovering 13 percent health and five percent protection and so that's why you do a little mix of of both health and protection i have a slight emphasis on health um so i have two health sets with a defense set but then i have a mix of protection primaries and health primaries so depending on what mods you have either one's okay if you have a five dot health mod i would say put on a protection mod instead um only go with the health mods if you have the 6.1 so you get the 16 percent health don't waste time with the 5.8% health. Go for protection instead. His speed doesn't really matter, you guys. Mine's 214. It's fine. He's just there to take some uh, take some damage. Hux, make him fast. That's all it is. I don't care what his primaries are. I don't care what his anything. I don't care. Just make him fast. Mine's at 316. Next, Sith Trooper. Sith Trooper is one that's going to be worth it, you guys, to remod a little bit better, in my personal opinion. Crit damage, crit chance. I don't care about the circle, um, but an offense cross crit damage triangle and then an offense arrow ignore that speed secondary while it's cool i don't care about it i was just going for this offense primary um the opening attack you want as much damage as you can get so he doesn't need to be fast he doesn't need that speed arrow he needs to be dealing damage so i threw an offense arrow on sith trooper as well now he is still at 280 speed which is just kind of how some of my speed secondaries are you don't need that about 8,000 offense, the more, the better. Uh, first order, Special Forces TIE Pilot. I actually put speed on him. So mine's at 286. Um, he is there actually mostly for this um, assist ability, oppressive burst. If the target uh, ally is first order, um, they stun the target for one turn. So uh, we want him fast to kind of cycle through that ability and use that one more often for us. And then first order TIE Pilot, uh, very similar to Sith Trooper. You want damage. I don't care about the circle. Um, we have an offense cross crit damage triangle and then an offense arrow um don't care about his speed 259 that's actually faster than i thought it would be um 6500 offense um just make him hit hard okay now here in the actual battle you guys um thankfully there's not a lot of rng with this fight there's pretty much only two areas that there's going to be a little bit of rng which is on the opening attack on resistance hero finn we're going to start with oppressive fire um we want that to kill resistance hero finn in just the one ability if it doesn't it's not a big deal but it's just kind of nice that's why i put a little bit of extra damage into the tie pilot and sit trooper just to hope uh that we can kill resistance hero finn on the first attack and then with ray as you guys can see here she only has two zetas that is her leadership uh and her unique where she uh whenever she's inflicted with a debuff she has a 40 percent chance to dispel all debuffs from her um so sometimes that can kind of mess with you with the stuns but for the most part it doesn't um anyways you guys going into the actual fight let's go ahead and uh start with oppressive fire we're just going to use that on resistance hero finn um now the hope is right there that that's just going to kill him um unfortunately it doesn't for us it's not the end of the world but 
Um, it's just kind of nice if that is done right away. Um, right there, you could see where Ray got hit with tenacity down and stun. You saw it very briefly. Um, that's the Zeta coming into play. Um, that is uh, unfortunately cleansing uh, that stun and stopping us from being able to go. So that's a bummer. It happens. Uh, go ahead and focus down Ray. Uh, I'm going to use um, Hux here when we cycle back to him. I'm going to use Devious Scheme now on uh, Kylo Ren. And the reason being is when you have advantage, um, you're going to dispel all debuffs on the targeted ally and then reset their cooldowns. So we're going to go ahead and give that back over to crew and then try and stun Ray again, which as we can see, unfortunately got dispelled immediately. That's that Zeta still coming into play. So, I mean, we're having the bad luck and this is still very safe. Um, but yeah, there you guys go. You can see the bad luck, <laughs> but really that's about it. Thankfully, um, from here on out, go ahead and kill Poe. Um, and then if there were an auto button, I would tell you guys to click it. Um, and just get through this fight as quickly as you can. It's really that opening move. You got to kill resistance hero uh, Finn first. And you, by preference, would like to stun Ray to keep her locked down. Um, we still walked away just fine. But that's kind of what you're aiming for. And uh, we unfortunately had the bad luck. All right, guys. Tier 2. Now, Tier 2 is going to be the same team composition. Uh, Kylo lead, Hux, Red Trooper, and the pilots same mods and a very similar strategy the main difference however is going to be right here at the beginning we're going to do one thing slightly different now since zori is here in the team um the important thing that you need to know about zori is whenever an ally falls below 50 percent health they gain stealth for i believe it's just one turn but i can't remember if it's one or two turns um and with the resistance hero finn we need to kill him first but there's a little bit more RNG involved as uh, we saw in tier one. Sometimes it can or doesn't uh, kill resistance hero Finn if you use this mass assist. So to avoid that sort of RNG um, aspect and then letting him go into stealth for a turn, we're actually gonna start with a uh, devious scheme and we're gonna throw that over to Kylo Ren so we can stun resistance hero Finn. Then we're gonna hit him just a time or two so all of his protection's gone. And then we're going to leave him alone until we do the mass assist uh, with Hux. So now let's go over to Resistance Hero Poe instead. And let's try and get a stun onto him. We get the stun onto him. Great. Um, let's go ahead and use Gun Down on Resistance Hero Poe because we got uh, Tenacity down. I want to see if we can't hit buff immunity. Great. Now that we have buff immunity, um, that means he's not going to go into stealth. So I'm just going to focus down on Resistance Hero Poe. Great. And now we're gonna do the mass assist onto resistance hero Finn and then kill him. At this point, if there was an auto button, I would tell you to press it. There's nothing else that you really need to worry about. I'm gonna go ahead and focus down um, on Zori. We're gonna get rid of her. Remember, she's gonna go into stealth at 50% health. And so that's gonna trigger it right there. Great, she took a, an immediate turn. It's only one turn in stealth, I guess. Um, and then now you just have to kill BBA. So that's about it. Let's go ahead and fast forward. And there you go. All right, so that one's pretty straightforward as well. Very similar strategy to tier one, just a very minor difference. All right, you guys, tier three, the infamous duel mechanic. Um, now the dual aspect is it's supposed, it, it's like supposed to be like rock, paper, scissors, um, but it's um, not um, kind of, there's an algorithm, you guys. All you have to do over and over and over again is faint strike parry strike and just keep repeating there you that go. that's it faint strike parry strike big strike parry strike faint strike parry strike big strike parry strike big strike parry strike and the only time you will not be doing faint strike parry strike is if ray gets a little status effect above her health bar right here that's three question marks if you get that you're going to stop your sequence wherever you are press pause on it and then use strike and then continue the sequence where you left off so for example let's say you go faint strike 
parry, strike, you would then go back to faint. But if right there, that's where the question mark shows up, you would not do faint. You would press pause. You would use the strike. And then when that sequence of attacks is over, you would go back to faint. So let's go ahead and play rock, paper, scissors. So we're gonna go faint. And we're gonna go strike. We got faint, strike. Perfect. So we got the little question marks. This character didn't pick a dual ability, so we're not sure what we're gonna do. So we went faint, strike. Normally next in the sequence, third one here would be parry. But instead of doing parry, we're gonna stop that and we're gonna do strike instead. But then our next ability, we're gonna go right back into parry. So we completed this first round. So there you go, we completed the first round. So now we're gonna start with parry. So remember it goes faint, strike, parry, strike. Now we're gonna use strike anyways, but remember with those question marks, you press pause and then you do the ability. So we're gonna do strike, but that's the next one we were gonna do. So we're actually gonna do strike twice in a row. So go ahead and do strike. And now we're gonna go back into, oh my goodness, we got two question marks in a row. Okay, let's do strike again. <laughs> We got strike again. So now let's go ahead and go back into strike for a third time. <laughs> All right. So we went, uh, let's see here, parry, strike, faint. So we're back into faint here. So back into faint, and then we'll go on over. So now our next one, we did faint, so now we're into strike. You guys get the idea. Just keep the sequence going. Just perpetually keep that sequence going um, and then every time that you see those question marks, press pause on whatever you're, wherever you're at in the sequence, do strike instead, and then resume the sequence. Okay. So I'm just going to fast forward because that's literally all we're doing. It's just the same sequence over and over and over again. And there you have it, you guys. So literally just do that over and over and over and over again. Um, as soon as you kind of crack that code, uh, there's not much of a rock, paper, scissors aspect. It's like playing rock, paper, scissors, knowing that you just have to do rock and then paper and then scissors and then rock and then paper and then scissors and you win. So uh, <laughs> it is what it is, you guys. So tier three, down. All right, guys, very quickly, we're gonna breeze through tiers four um, and five. Tiers four and five are crazy easy. Um, we got SLKR, we are now using our SLKR. Then we have Kylo, Hux, Phasma, and First Order Officer. Let's break down the mods here really fast. Ky for tiers four and five, it's not like that big of a deal, but they're gonna be the same things for four, five, and six, so let's just get them out of the way. Kylo Ren, now mine is at Relic five. I was able to beat this at Relic three, but it was super uncomfortable. So I would just kind of recommend you guys just do Relic 5, just be safe. Um, you don't need Relic 7. I mean, obviously I would encourage you to take your SLK out of Relic 7 anyways, but if you're trying to like get the ultimate as quickly as possible, you can get by at Relic 5. The mods have switched. We are doing all out health, everything healthy guys. Triple health set, health circle, cross, triangle, and arrow. Now this one though, I would encourage you find as many speed secondaries as you can. Mine is still only 509. But I would encourage you guys to find as many speed secondaries as you can. And then a beefy health pool, 170,000 health. Don't really care about the offense. Um, we're going to siphon our way to victory. Next, you guys, um, we need Hux. We need Hux to be the fastest. So if you still have the same mods on from how you were running Hux in the other tiers, you're going to be okay. But these are the exact same mods. Make Hux the fastest. And then after Hux, first order officer. So... Hux has to be fastest, but then second fastest will be first order officer. I don't care about his stats. Otherwise, just make him second fastest. After that will be Phasma. Um, Phasma doesn't have to hit like a specific benchmark. Mine's 220 in the previous video. I did at 250. Um, it doesn't matter as long as Phasma goes next and before OG Kylo Ren. So I don't really care what their speeds are as long as Phasma is faster than Kylo Ren. 
okay so we're gonna start the battle uh and the strategy is actually the same across uh four five and six it just takes a little bit longer and you might lose a couple more people along the way uh but the strategy is effectively the same um we're gonna start the fight and um ray will go first it doesn't really matter what ray does she can't whirlwind but if she gives lifeblood to somebody or if she does a basic like we just saw doesn't matter go ahead and stun resistance hero finn and then with um uh, with hux we're going to throw the turn meter back over to kylo uh to, to asshole care and then we're going to stun resistance hero poe then we're going to throw the turn meter back on over to SLKR, and then we're gonna do an AOE and target one of the guys who are stunned. The reason that you wanna target somebody who is stunned is that ability uh, siphons double the amount if the target enemy is stunned. So make sure to target um, either one of the resistance hero brothers um, to stun them and, uh, or sorry, to uh, siphon them. Then with Phasma, we're gonna boost our turn meter. Kylo, uh, do the AOE to boost the turn meter even more, and then go ahead and do the, uh, the mass assist ability to knock out um resistance hero finn uh and then go on over and knock out resistance hero poe and at this point you just got to deal with a solo ray which would be no problem she'll whirlwind somebody nobody cares in tiers four and i think five weirdly enough you can um you can stun ray and i i don't know if that's a bug or not i really don't um but you can do that so stun her <laughs> and that just out. it's kind of weird but anyways um that was <laughs> tier four crazy easy all right guys tier five tier five is going to be the exact same mods exact same team comp even the same strategy nothing really changes apart from we can no longer stun ray uh which i mean i don't know if we should be able to in the first place <laughs> anyways but uh we can't stun ray anymore so big sad um so ray will take her turn doesn't matter if she does light blood or a basic go ahead and stun resistance hero finn swap the turn meter and reset the cooldowns on SLKR. Go ahead and stun resistance hero Poe. Go ahead and throw that turn meter right back on over to SLKR and do the AOE and remember to target somebody who is stunned. I tend to favor um, using that on resistance hero Finn because that decreases their mastery as well. So if he happens to take a turn, he's gonna be real squishy. Boost the turn meter with Phasma, boost the turn meter um, with Kylo, and then do the mass assist on resistance hero Finn and go ahead and knock him out. And then get on over to resistance hero Poe and knock him out. And then uh, again, if there was an auto button, you could press it just to kill um, Ray. Now, unfortunately in tier five, we can't stun her, like I said, um, but it, it doesn't matter. You guys just do your thing. She can't kill you. Um, just get through her as quickly as you can. Now, um, one surrounding aspect of SOKR that I want you guys to understand that's going to be very important in tier six is if you start running into uh, a problem of being able to kill Ray because she is boosting her survivability uh, with her mastery, uh, these stacks here, she give, it gives her crit avoidance and bonus defense and all that stuff. Make sure to use the AOE a ton. The AOE, even if you're, it doesn't matter if you, you can't siphon uh, a galactic legend, but you, so you're not removing stats from Ray, but you are still boosting your own stats. Um, and so that's why it doesn't really matter what her, uh, what your offense is on your SOKR is because we are just going to be siphoning ourselves up as much offense as we want anyways. So, and I'm going to explain that better in tier six, uh, but tier five, you guys very similar to tier four, knock that one out super fast. And now on to tier six. Um, now tier six, you guys, this is the one that I got the most complaints about of people struggling. And so I, I'm going to slow this one down. And there's going to be a, this little sequence of events that I want you guys to do um, that'll come in slightly later in the battle. The start of the battle is going to be the same thing. Ray's going to go ahead and do uh, either a basic or a lifeblood. You're going to stun resistance hero Finn, swap turn meter back over to SLKR, and then stun resistance hero Poe. Throw the turn meter back to SLKR, do the AOE. And remember, I'm targeting um, I'm, tar I'm targeting resistance hero Finn to reduce his mastery. That's what this little triangle, this blue triangle means. Um, it's decreasing his mastery. Um, so if he eventually takes a turn, then um, he's not going to be that much of a threat. Boost the turn meter with Phasma. Boost the turn meter uh, with OG Kylo. And then go ahead and do a mass assist on resistance hero Finn. Now with the resistance hero Finn on tier 6 now, 
um, we're running into the issue of damage immunity. So if you can't kill him uh, right off the rip like that, it's okay. He's just going to chill and damage immunity for a moment. Let's ignore him. We don't need to worry about that. Just go ahead and do a basic overrun resistance hero Poe. And now I want you guys to understand this little event ability over here. That's an order. Now in tier six, you're going to swap turn meter with the target ally. All damage dealt by that target is then increased by 50%. They lose taunt if they had it and they become untargetable, which means uh, they can't be targeted if other allies are present and you can't gain taunt. Um, so we're now going to start using this ability a lot more at any given moment. If you have it, feel free, like unless you're specifically using one of those special abilities like Hux's turn meter, uh, cooldown reset ability, um, or his mass assist or Phasma's, um, TM bump ability. If you're specifically using one of those abilities, go for it. However, if you don't really have anything to do with that character, then use that's in order over on SLKR. And that's just gonna give him that bonus turn. So what I'm gonna be doing um, is this stasis strike ability. And this is why I'm, I'm gonna spend a little bit more time breaking down these abilities that Kylo Ren has. Um, this ability stasis strike, it stuns the target enemy. And then here's the important part is you gain 20 siphon until the end of the encounter. On a critical hit, you gain 40 instead. That Siphon is what fuels the AoE ability Furious Onslaught. Whenever you use that ability, Kylo is siphoning mastery from that target enemy. Doubled if they were stunned. So that's why I make sure to always target somebody who's stunned so that I can boost my own um, mastery. The Siphon Mastery, you are gaining a percentage of mastery equal to SLKR's Siphon. All right, so right now my siphon is 90, okay? You are gaining 1% for each siphon. So when I do this AOE ability, which gives me, or which siphons that much mastery, I am increasing SLKR's mastery by 90%. So that's why we want to use that ability as much as possible. And this is a good lesson for you guys in the future when you're using SLKR to understand how he works. You do this stasis strike ability, which builds your siphon and stuns somebody. And then you can use the AO, uh, AOE ability, Furious Onslaught, to actually siphon that percentage. So the higher your siphon stacks, the more mastery you are siphoning, the more you're boosting your own mastery. That's why you're going full health on SOKR. Because in, in the problem that I saw a lot of people mentioning in, uh, in some of the comments was they couldn't kill Ray at the end and they just sat there until she eventually killed them. And so I want you guys to understand this little cycle that you're gonna be doing um, of boosting your own mastery. So make sure to target somebody who is stunned, do that AOE. It doesn't matter that you know we're putting them in damage immunity, our SLKR is just never going to die. So even though Ray's gonna do all of her, um, all of her business and kill a whole bunch of people, um, It'll come down to basically a solo SLKR and a solo Ray. She won't be able to kill you. You will eventually uh, build up your mastery so high uh, that you'll be able to kill her. Now remember this, that's an order ability. It swaps turn meter with the target ally. That includes SLKR. So even though we have all of our abilities here on cooldown, I mean, I could do a basic, but I could also swap, swap turn meter with myself and effectively give myself a bonus turn. Um, and then that way I can go right back into either using a stasis strike or just cycling to my turns quicker. Make sure to use that AOE. You're building your siphon a whole bunch. Eventually you won't be able to die and you will siphon so much mastery uh, that Ray will not be able to survive. So remember, use this effectively. Give yourself a bonus turn. Let's go ahead and stun or kill Poe. Perfect. And this is where pretty much every single match is going to end. And as you can see, the way that our cooldowns are, you guys, we're always going to be doing one of these special abilities. So this is another very important part that I want you guys to pay attention to. Do an AOE. Ray's going to take her turn. If she does a whirlwind, doesn't matter. Then you're going to use the uh, that's an order event ability. Give it back to himself. Do the stasis strike. Build your stacks of siphon. Do an AOE and then go back into uh, that's an order. Swap turn meter with yourself. 
stasis strike you guys see the little cycle that we're in we're never ray's not going to kill us but we will eventually by siphoning mastery and boosting our mastery to such a degree we will eventually have enough damage that it doesn't matter what ray has these little these little stacks here she's uh getting uh she's getting 10 percent defense um and uh critical avoidance per stack so she has 50 percent defense 50 percent crit avoidance uh and she has enlightened which means the damage uh received by ray is decreased by 50 percent so she's decreasing damage by 50 percent she has 50 percent defense and she has 50 percent crit avoidance which is where a lot of people are like i can't kill her well now you guys can just make sure that you're doing this little cycle right here of boosting up your um your stacks of of siphon and then making sure to uh build up that mastery as quickly as you can and then what's going to eventually happen is you're going to get so much damage it doesn't matter it'll you'll since there's no time limit or anything just take your sweet time just throw it back onto yourself go ahead and do that I, the whirlwinds don't matter you're you're not gonna die you can see that our damage we already went from like 40 000, 50 000. Uh, that last attack we just did 70. That one was 135. Keep doing the AOE. Got to dodge. That sucks. You still get the siphon, but you know we missed that. Swap turn meter with yourself. Big attack. Boom. 173,000. Go ahead and do an AOE, and then this will be our last hit. It looks like. Go ahead and swap turn meter with yourself. Stasis strike for the win. Okay. So I hope that answers the question. Uh, and solves the problem that a lot of people were having there in tier um, six specifically. A lot of people are saying like, oh, I just, I can't kill her. And then she eventually whittles me down. Um, and so I wanted to be more specific on the modding with SLKR and that little bit of that, that little strategy there of going, you know, AOE reset or uh, give yourself a bonus turn, stasis strike, AOE bonus turn, you know, that little, that little cycle right there. Um, makes it so it doesn't matter how much damage decrease uh, ray has it doesn't matter how much defense and uh and crit avoidance she has and that'll do it, you guys there is your 2022 updated SOKR unlock um event guide if you guys have any questions please let me know down in the comments uh i do my absolute best um to read through them and answer your guys's question there's been a few people that are just absolutely stuck um, I try and do my best to answer you guys. There's just sometimes too many comments and I miss them. I'm sorry, uh, but there's a lot of good information in the comment section, you guys, or join my discord. Feel free to ask um, some questions there or join me on my Twitch channel, link down below, twitch.tv slash grid underscore underscore. And you guys are more than welcome to ask me any questions there as well. And just come hang out on the grid. Otherwise, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you appreciate it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. If you have not, we are creeping up on 7,000 subscribers. Goal for the end of the year is 10,000 subscribers. I would love it if you guys should, uh, could share this video, send it to anybody who's trying to unlock SLKR. Uh, I would hugely, hugely appreciate it, you guys. And otherwise, until the next video or stream, we're going off the grid.